to schedule for one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first to my right, sponsored tonight by at Phoenix underscore a man on Twitter, wrestling out of Lowell, Massachusetts, weighing in at 253 pounds, this is Mortar! His opponent in the corner to my left, from the streets of Worcester, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 250 pounds, one half of the Wild Dogs, the Wild Hound, Johnny Rivera. Spotlight match, Paul Crockett here in Mortar going right after the Wild Town, Johnny Rivera. I am joined alongside the man, not the place, Denver, Colorado. And Mortar is really taking it to one half of the Wild Dogs. Well, I mean, Mortar, we've seen him teaming with TJ Crawford over the past couple months. Not much success with that tag team. Johnny Rivera typically teaming as one part of the Wild Dogs, but back to singles action. Hey, Paul, you want to be brought back every week? You got to string together some wins and both of these men have nothing to lose coming to this matchup. The Wild Hound Johnny Rivera has had a lot of downs. He's had some ups though, including teaming with Ray Pittman to get a pinfall victory over Crowbar and Percival. But it was the Wild Hound who pinned Crowbar that night and that was a career defining moment for him in 2022, but now he has to keep the ball rolling. Right, you can't think of Pittman, you can't think of the Wild Dogs, you just gotta think of the Wild Hound, Johnny Rivera on his own, and boy, he has a tough task against Mortar, who is a powerhouse. Very smart move here by Mortar by unzipping that jacket and going with the double chop as Mortar with the back elbow onto the Wild Hound. I don't think I've seen anyone do that before. Nope, Johnny Rivera, the Worcester native, of course, Mortar, Last victorious in singles action as he goes for a pin over Davian. That was back in June, Paul. Yeah, we remember his run with brick and mortar alongside the Brick City Boys last year, but it's been a rough go the last six months. Absolutely, and again, Johnny Rivera, you know, not too many singles contests here at Wrestling Open. Might be in over his head, but the Worcester native has a lot of fight in him. But the one thing I do know is that even though it's been a couple of weeks, the Wild Town Johnny Rivera training with Ken Doan and Thomas Santel here at the White Eagle. You want to go to BioPro on Twitter, BioPro Wrestling, excuse me. But Johnny Rivera is definitely one who wants to learn a lot more, and that is one way to do it, but it's only been two weeks. Well, you got to think about it. I mean, somebody that's a nine-year veteran like the Wild Hound, Johnny Rivera, I mean, the fact that he's been showing up at training week in and week out, I mean, the Beyond Institute of Professional Wrestling, training with Ken Doan, training with Thomas Santel, it's gonna be the best technique, and let's see if he has a chance to implement it against Mortar. A great reversal of the whip, using his opponent's momentum to sandwich him in the corner. If you wanna be a professional wrestler, train here in Worcester, email beyondwrestling at gmail.com, or as Paul said, at BioPro Wrestling on Twitter. Of course, at Phoenix M and sponsoring Mortar. And right now, Johnny Rivera doing the best that he can to hold his ground in tonight's spotlight match. Looked like he was gonna connect on that shot, but Johnny Rivera reversing it, turning it into a very advantageous offensive maneuver, pops him up and sends him crashing down. The Wild Town is back in this one. Boy, for two heavyweights, these guys are going a mile a minute, Paul. Of course, fans still filing in some inclement weather here in Worcester, Massachusetts. Paul, what do we have lined up at the top of the hour, eight o'clock? Ray Jazz versus Ichiban, one-on-one, -on -one, first time ever? First time ever, that has huge implications as there is a DDT Damn, by the Wild him. I think he's got a ball. But Ray Jazz and Ichiban, we introduced the Wrestling Open Championship last week. There's gonna be a tournament at some point. You have to think that match will have a lot of implications for that. Of course, Brad Hollister one-on-one -on -one with Gabriel Sky. Fancy Ryan Clancy, he's got his hands full tonight with somebody, again, that was teaming with Mortar and TJ Crawford. Here comes Mortar. Uh-oh, Mortar's putting on the brakes, trying to avoid that Oklahoma stampede in the corner. Johnny Rivera set in the buckle, and this time it's the sandwich attack from Mortar. Rolls him through. Yeah, trying Here to create some Mortar. separation so he can build momentum. Rivera got out of the way, that shotgun drop kick. Sending Mortar crashing down hard. 
and you said it, the pace has been relentless here between these two. So at some point you have to think something's going to give and maybe that was that moment. A frenetic pace between two heavyweights face first on the top buckle. More decapitating Johnny Rivera. He's That's gonna be it, Paul. Whoa! Johnny Rivera out at two and Mortar is in disbelief and frankly, so am I after that clothesline. High impact, high octane offense from Johnny Rivera and Mortar. Mortar bringing his opponent back up to his feet so he can attack the chest. That could have been a mistake. He had him down to the mat, but again, going to the buckle. That time, Rivera with enough leg strength to push Mortar off. Sidesteps him as Mortar collides. Shoulder versus steel. Guess what? Flesh loses. He's gonna pick him up. What is he going for here? He's gonna go for it. Oklahoma Stampede! Wow, and that's gonna be considered an upset, Paul. Huge upset. The Wild Town is your winner. The time of the fall, four minutes, 54 seconds. Here is your winner, the Wild Hound, Johnny Rivera. A huge win, a huge upset. Is that a sign of what's to come tonight? Season two, episode two. Join us at the top of the hour.